Holistic science is for anyone that wants to see the world differently, for anyone who wants to understand or experience how we see the world today, and then also um, open up new opportunities, new possibilities for going beyond how we see the world today, for developing new ways of seeing, new ways of understanding. We look at science itself in a holistic way. So that means we engage in scientific practices. We, um, we do science, but we also uh, look at the philosophy of science, and we also consider the history of the scientific practices that we engage in. And by engaging in these different kinds of scientific practice, by studying their philosophical implications, by looking at the, the historical uh, uh, transformation of those processes, we come to a holistic understanding of science itself. We choose from the whole pantheon of, of scientists in the history of science, science, scientists who have a particular holistic outlook. Now that could be Aristotle, that could be Goethe, that could be um, Einstein, that could be Max Planck. And what we're interested in is looking at how these particular scientists developed a, a holistic conception of the world. Why study holistic science? Now, whether we are scientists or artists or practitioners, gardeners, our, our culture has given us a certain scientific education. We have a certain scientific image. And this scientific image, in a way, has um, it has a certain hold on us that allow that, that it doesn't allow us to, to explore alternative possibilities. And studying holistic science, it opens up this, this realm of possibility by challenging some of the assumptions that we don't realize that we even have. And so ultimately, studying holistic science enables us to be more creative, to think outside the box, and actually lead fuller, more re rewarding lives.